home sweet home. We're really enjoying our new 39 foot diesel pusher. 2003 Bounder 39Z. Quite an upgrade from our road truck camper van. Previous owners installed this bra. We're going to add a screen, privacy screen on the front like that guy has. So we can have our front curtains open during the day and you won't see in like you can right now, but we'll still be able to see out. It's got a huge awning, covers our entire porch, which is pretty awesome. Tons and tons of storage we would never fill up. There's even storage at the front. Previous owners installed these window awnings as well, over every window. Here's just an example of a storage bin, for those who find that interesting. It's a huge convection toaster oven that we're trying to sell and get rid of, and just, there's so much space. We'll never fill it up. We have a lot of empty storage bins, actually. the back. There's where the engine is. Diesel engine. More storage. Our batteries. Power supply. House batteries. Engine batteries. Or maybe I mix that up. I don't know. There's a bunch of batteries and engine-y guy stuff down here. Surge protector and such. Sewer hookups over here. There's our living dining room slide out. And the storage compartments slide out with the slide, which is great. So you don't have to duck in there and go all the way back to reach the compartment doors. You can just open them right there. Again, window awnings. really shades the rig when you have the curtains open, but you can still see out and also keeps the rain out if it happens to be raining. Not sure what else to really say about the outside. Would have liked a different color scheme, but this is the one we found that had the inside that we liked. Weren't necessarily looking for a diesel pusher, but Chad was pretty excited that the rig we ended up liking happened to be one. So that wraps up the outside. Actually, here's a few more examples of the storage. Chad's got his tools in this one. Plenty of room to spare. His kombucha brewery is in this tub. Let's take for those of you foodies out there. He's got some strawberry brewing over here. And the first round plain kombucha in those jars. He's got a little heater in there because where we stay right now, it's pretty cool overnight, like in the 50s. Often only in the 60s during the day. Keep a lot of our bulk Costco dry goods out here. More bulk goods and our mountain biking gear in there. This one I already showed you earlier. This one's actually not storage. It's our onboard propane access is right here. So this door can't be locked legally, I guess. Um, I guess there is storage in here. Who knew? Just some empty boxes is what we've got in there. And more mechanical things. Chad actually hooked us up to an external propane tank while we're sitting still here at this campground working. Um, that way when we run out of propane, we don't have to drive our whole rig down to go fill it up. He can just detach the tank, go fill it up and bring it back. A lot easier. All right, so that's really it. 
for the outside. There's just similar storage on the other side, a little smaller because of the slide out. Let's take a look inside. I've got this on a wide angle setting so that um, you can actually see everything in the shot. So it's going to make it look a little wider and roomier than it really is. But this is a couch we just got online at Home Depot. It's kind of a cheapy couch. Not sure it will last long, but the old couch was 100% this pattern. Wow. Plus it was a little tore up from pets that they had had. So this is the living area. Give you a little 360. We required in an RV when we were shopping to have a lot of counter space. And this is the one we found with the most counter space by far. We also wanted a washer dryer hookup, which I'll show you is in there. And we wanted a big fridge, which we definitely, definitely got. It's more than triple the size of the fridge we had in our road trek. This is what you get when you film your home in an RV park. The fun trains coming by. All right, anyways. Okay, so this is a 50 inch, I think, TV that we installed after the fact. The original TV was small, not flat screen, and initially fit back in this box here, but Chad, um, I only have one arm, but the TV swings out and swivels and everything, but I just can't do it with one arm. This is the captain's chair area, and this one over here turns into a recliner. This footrest kicks out. It's pretty sweet. I can use it when we're going down the road and we can use it when we're here. Just like this. We also took out a little shelf thingy that was here and added this little fake electric fireplace heater, which is pretty sweet. The owner before us added this stained glass piece um, little insert that goes on the front door, which I had planned on taking out because I thought I would prefer to see out the window, but it is a nice little bit of privacy that it adds while still letting light in. So we still kept it there. Someone else also added these little artsy um, metal plates on these cabinets and we like them. So we left them. What else? The original uh, couch that was in here was a sleeper sofa and we did not replace it with a sleeper sofa. So um, we're saving a lot of weight when we're traveling, which is good because we've added some weight by adding the fireplace and the washer and dryer and stuff. So it's a really light 100 pound couch, which is great. And it's wide enough for one of us to lay on if we ever did need to sleep on it for some reason. Um, this dinette is unique. Another reason that we bought this rig, you've got the table space, but then also this great counter space back here, which is called a computer workstation. Not exactly sure why, um, but we set a lot of our, like, our phone chargers and then we've got our laptop and all sorts of office stuff in these drawers and cabinets. All of this is cabinetry across here with sliding doors and then these open. There's a drawer on each side, which is sweet. One of the things we don't like about this rig is the electrical outlet. So the electrical outlet for this space is up here. So we were using that and cords have been hanging down for the past two months since we bought our rig and it's been driving me nuts. So Chad rigged up a different power situation that comes from below and everything's plugged in up under here now. So very awesome. I let him drill a hole in this, which I was a little nervous about, but it's all tucked away and hidden now. So it's great. All right, washer dryer. We only have space for one machine, so we had to get a washer-dryer combo. These things are like a thousand dollars, but it's been so sweet not going to the laundromat, and we were spending 40 to 50 bucks a month on laundry anyways, so it'll pay for itself eventually, and even if it didn't, we love, love, love having it. 
you can only do small loads and they take forever <laughs> like um, an hour to wash and then we let our stuff dry for an hour and then we hang it if it's stuff that could get wrinkly and then for another hour we let the rest of the stuff finish drying like if it's towels and such so three total hours the machines running so we run a load every day or every other day but it's been great this space here is huge cabinet with ginormous drawers inside. We have our pots and pans and a lot of food items in there, but we also could take that stuff out and it's space for a dishwasher. I doubt we'll ever give up the storage, but depends how tired we get of doing dishes. This is a huge cutting board slash extra counter space that pulls out. I never even use it because we have a lot of counter space as you can see over here is where the stove lives we have like a little electric hot plate that if we're only using one burner we just plug it in and use that instead of using our propane but there is a three burner stove under here it's gas and this is a convection oven to use it as an oven we just put a metal rack in there works great i love 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 having that rarely use this propane oven down here and now for the fridge oh my gosh i'm so glad we waited and waited till we found a rig with this huge fridge freezer and an ice maker which i thought for sure we would take out because i would want more freezer space but turns out we have enough this thing this goes deep down in here too so there's more space than it even looks like and we've always had plenty so Chad gets to keep his ice maker, which turns out I really love having the ice maker and he's the one who wanted it. I didn't think I cared. Turns out I do. So here's the fridge. It's huge. We love it. It's not even stuffed full. It's amazing. So exciting. Another great thing is I've got all this counter space for my Vitamix. Chad got a bigger coffee maker. We never had room for that in the old rig. This is a little um, counter space that lifts up. I assume it's for a hamper since the washing machine's right there. But the previous owner put some shelving in there. And on the top shelf, I just put a bin for our recyclables. So that's what goes in there. I don't think there's really anything else to tell you about out here. And this is basically the reason we bought the rig is for the living space that's out here. And less so because of the bedroom space. As you'll see, um, in the living room, there's a slide out. If you're not familiar with RVs, this whole part here that has this trim piece going across and down to the other side of the couch. When we're driving, that whole part of the RV slides in. And then when you park, you slide it out. So this whole part is called a slide out, or some people call it a bump out, and it gives you extra space when you're parked. And a lot of RVs also have that in the bedroom area and sometimes they have two or three in the living area and two in the bedroom we have just one in the whole rv and it's right there so many rvs we looked at also had them in the bedroom which gave you a huge bedroom but they just didn't have the living room set up that we wanted so that was one of our sacrifices this is our closet area big sliding closet some drawers underneath drawers over here this is a fake out cabinet pretty common in rvs they make it look like it's just another cupboard, but really it's just our fuse pan. Breaker box, whatever. Then the bedroom is tiny. It's just a bed with enough space to walk around it and that's it. And a little bit of storage all around. Um, we put as big of a TV as we could fit in here and it's tiny. So we don't, I watch TV in here cause I don't really care, but Chad prefers that one out there, which actually is a bigger viewing experience, even from back here, than this TV probably is when we're in bed. We should just turn that one on. All right, and then the bed, that's where the engine is. It's a diesel pusher, this RV, and so down in there is the engine. And on top we could store stuff, but we haven't put anything in there yet. All right, and then this has a door here that slides across so when Chad sleeps in in the morning I shut him in here so I can make all the noise I want there's also another one of these doors 
at the other end of the hallway. So for even extra noise blocking, I'll shut this one too. All right, and then this door is the final room, the bathroom. Not much to it, a sink, a toilet, and a shower. Lots of storage in here though. It's a pretty good sized bathroom for an RV. It's a corner shower, garden tub set up as they call it. So it's roomier than just a little square shower. It's not the biggest RV shower ever, but it's good enough. Has a skylight in it. A little bit more storage over here in this teensy little narrow cabinet. It's about the width of a washcloth. And hey, that's about it for the inside. Um, we're really, really loving it. It's a huge upgrade from our van. We bought our van because we wanted to adventure around and travel and go to different places every day or two. And now that we're work camping and sitting still for longer periods of time, it just didn't make any sense anymore to be crammed in that tiny little RV. So that's the inside. Let me know if you have any questions or if I left anything out. 